do you want to set up conversion tracking for your ninja forms whether it be to use for google ads tracking or for your organic events i'm emma and this is the heavyweight digital youtube channel and today i'm going to show you how to do exactly that we're going to walk through how to set up reliable tracking for successful ninja form submissions only so we're not going to be tracking any interaction with the form only successful form submissions so that you can use this for whatever conversion tracking setup you want to put in place so i'm going to be demoing this ninja form setup on this test website so you need your website handy with the page open with the contact form that you want to track you're going to have to have tag manager open and you're going to have google analytics open as well so first things first in tag manager we're going to create the ninja forms listener tag so you're going to go to tags new and then tag configuration custom html then in this box you're going to paste the listener code which you can find linked in the description down below in a blog post we have on our website so you're going to grab that listener code and copy that in. What this does, um, the JavaScript code listens for the N form submit response DOM event and fires an event into the data layer called Ninja form submission. It also captures the form ID in the Ninja form short code and pushes it into the data layer as well. So the form ID is what will allow you to create different tracking for different forms if you have multiple forms that you want to track. And then we'll just name this Ninja Forms Listener. And then the triggering should be set to all pages and then save. So the next thing we're going to do is create a new data layer variable. So we'll come to variables down to user-defined variables and then new and name this ninja form id and then in configuration select data layer variable and then in the name section here enter nf form id this is case sensitive so make sure that you get that exactly the same and then we're going to save it and then the next thing to do is test it in preview mode so i'm going to grab the url of the page with the form go to preview paste that in there connect Continue. We can see that the listener has fired, and then I'm just going to fill out the form and then submit. And we'll come back to this tab, and then we can see here there is an event that's fired called Ninja Form Submission. Come to this and go to Variables, and then we can see here that that data layer variable is pulling in the form ID, and then we're going to use this form ID going forward so now we're going to come back to here go to triggers and we're going to create a new trigger configuration we're going to select custom event and here the event name should be that ninja form submission is case sensitive so it needs to be exactly this now if you only have one form that you want to track on your website or if you don't particularly care about differentiating between the different forms on your website you can leave the setup for the trigger like this otherwise if you do want to track forms individually say you have a request a quote form and then a standard contact form and you want to be able to differentiate them what you'll do is use that form id so i'm going to do some custom events from the drop down i'm going to select ninja form id and then the id was one so i'm going to do contains one and um, just be aware 
if you've got a lot of forms and let's say one of your forms IDs is 11 and another one is one, then obviously for the one, you'd probably want to go with equals instead of contains and vice versa for the one that was 11 or 12 or whatever. But in this instance, I don't have that problem. So I'm just going to leave it on contains and I'm going to name the trigger something that makes sense for this instance. And then you can save the trigger. Then we're going to come back to tags and we're now going to create the tag specifically for this form. So I'm going to do tag configuration, Google Analytics, GA4 event, input the measurement ID of your GA4 data stream, and then the event name, name it something that makes sense to you. I'm going to do ninja form submission. Obviously, make sure that you do underscores instead of spaces. Don't start the event name with a number, so on and so forth. I'm going to name it Ninja Form Submission. Again, name the tag something that makes sense to you. And then with triggering, we're going to use that trigger that we set up earlier and then hit save. Now, if you're tracking multiple forms separately, repeat that trigger and tag process for each form that you'd like to track and then finally we're going to test the setup again but before we do that i'm going to come to analytics and come to admin and open debug view and then we're going to come back to this close with this down i'm going to reopen preview mode and now we're going to fire our tags. So again, I'm going to fill out the form. And here it is, our tag has fired. And then let's just check in debug view. And there we go. So that event has fired. Now, if you're going to be using this for Google Ads and conversion tracking, you're going to need to wait about 24 hours before you can then import and um, mark this event as a key event and then import it into your Google Ads account to use as a conversion. Obviously, make sure that your analytics account and your Google Ads account are linked before you try and do that, because otherwise the event won't appear to be able to be imported in your Google Ads account. The other reason that we've done this through uh, Google Analytics is so that this tracking can benefit any organic tracking that you're looking to set up. If you're measuring your performance of SEO against the ads or as a combination, this means that you can get all of that tracking into one place. So that concludes how to set up tracking for successful ninja form submissions. What will you want to use your tracking for? Is it for Google Ads or is it for organic tracking only in analytics? Let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, please do give the video a thumbs up. It really helps. And remember to subscribe to our channel to see what new videos we have coming out every week. And if you want to check out any other conversion tracking videos from us, you'll find some linked in the description down below. Hit me like a ton of bread